Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. I wanted to get a telemetry receiver for my fixed wing plane so that I can send back telemetry data to the radio so that I can set up battery warnings. Because in the olden days we just had to work out how long our battery would last, set the minutes up on the timer and then land when uh, appropriate. So I got hold of a Motive RC receiver from Banggood which I purchased uh, recently. It's the R8SB, it's an 8 channel um, receiver which can use PPM and SBUS. So I'm going to just use it with the normal uh, servos. It operates on the D8 protocol. Um, so I'm going to bind this to my Jumper T16 and then I'm going to do a range test and see how far it, it goes, how far the receiver will work. But let's have a look. Let me show you how to set it up and show you the telemetry that comes through on your radio. So we're going to switch over to my Jumper T16 and we'll uh, set this up. Before we take a look at the receiver, I just want to go through the modes that you need to set up before you bind the receiver to your transmitter. There are four modes. I'm going to get, just read the instructions and go through those. Now, mode one is, is goes to channel one and eight, and that is um, at 20 milliseconds. Mode two, which I think is the default, is channel does channel one to eight and is a high speed at three milliseconds. Mode three is channel one to seven plus channel eight is PPM. And then mode four, which is one channel one to seven, channel eight is S bus stroke RSSI. Okay, let's take a look at the receiver. Now, the first thing we need to do is to put the receiver into bind mode. Now to do this, we need to hold down the, you can see it says fail safe button. You can hear it click there. And then we plug in the power. Make sure we get this the right way around. I'm gonna put it into channel one and you can see now the receiver is flashing it's telling us because there are two red flashes that means it's in mode two which is the high speed mode now to change it we need to push the fail safe button quickly see one two three now it's in mode three and then we quickly press it again and it should be in mode four one, two, three, four. And if we push one quick click again quickly, it should be in mode one. And I'm going to now click it again and put it into mode two, which is, the, by the way, the default setting. But I wanted to show you me um, changing the mode, which is not actually not difficult to do. Now we need to go into our radio and, and bind. You can see it's still split, flashing one, two, which means I'm in the correct mode. I'm in mode two. So we are going to go down to, you can see I've already bound this before, but because now I've reset it. Okay, so what we would do, we go to our um, multi-protocol module, internal one. We hit free sky and we want D8. And then we are going to go to bind. And you see, we've bound. And there we go, we should be bound. Now let's unplug our receiver and plug the receiver back in. And we should be good. Let's go to the telemetry screen. And there you can see, I've already detected the uh, sensors and you can see we're getting 8.1 volts back. Because this is a free sky protocol, I did the fine frequency tune, which for this receiver is, is minus 11. And you can see we're showing the RSSI there. So everything's bound and you can see all of the telemetry, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna do the range test now. I've got my vehicle started up. I'm gonna drive over to there and then over to there, which I've measured where it would be 1.2 kilometers which this receiver says it can go to as a minimal so I've just left the receiver there plugged in and I've got my jumper t16 so we're going to get in the vehicle and drive and see if we uh, once I get down to the 500 meter mark which is straight down there see if we uh, connect back up to the radio so let's go
Right, I'm now at 500 metres away from my house. Now, there are some trees at this level that are uh, blocking, but as soon as I put the radio outside... RSSI critical telemetry recovered. I've recovered telemetry and I'm over 500 metres away. Sorry, let me just turn off, stop that. And the, I'm getting an RSSI of 32, uh, but still got telemetry. Which is obviously the telemetry is still working, and, RSSI there, critical. and there are a lot of there. Are, yeah, I'm still getting uh, an RSSI of 33, and I am well RSSI over critical. 500 meters away from the house, and there are a lot of trees in the way. So that's interesting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the one point, well, just over a kilometer RSSI point. Critical. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. But it's definitely, if you were flying in the air here, there'd be no problem. There would be no problem controlling your aeroplane. RSSI critical. Okay. I should be at the 1.2 kilometre mark. Uh, my house is directly over there between those trees. So again, there are still trees lined up with the radio. And I've come a kilometre up this road, which in Google would mean I was uh, approximately 1.2 kilometres away from my house. So let's take a look at the radio, which is beeping like mad. Okay, we've got a uh, RSSI of 33 and the telemetry still RSSI critical. Okay, there we go, it's fading in and out, but I'm quite a distance away. In most countries, you would better fly this far away. Um, RSSI critical. But I am at its, at its full limit, so if that, that, uh, it's not a very scientific test, but it gives you some idea of how far this um, receiver can operate. And it's, I mean, it's saying critical, so it would mean we probably would still have control of the aeroplane. Okay, right. Let me drive back home. Okay, I've driven on further to the highest point than before I start going downhill again. And my house is over there, and the chair, you would be in line of sight of it. And I've come on quite a a, a distance so I'll have to measure it and see how far that is away but you can hear what my radio is doing um, it is showing an RSSI of 32 RSSI 34 uh, but it's saying critical I'm not sure if that would mean you've lost control of your aeroplane uh, but uh, I think if it's critical it's not said it's lost RSSI so that means I would say what, the, what, the, what they're saying that they can go 1.2 kilometers and probably right they say more than 1.2 uh, maybe someone in the comments section can say to me you know when it's saying RSSI critical would you still have control of your aeroplane or would you not I think you would do it's if the, that because I'm not getting any fail saves whatsoever okay let me drive back home I've just stopped again on the way home because I wanted to check the RSSI from here and my house is over there and I can see my front door, I can see the flag and I can see the chair and the RSSI I'm getting here is, it's very difficult to see in this light, but 40, 43, 42 from, from that distance so this would be, I'm not sure how far, this is a bit closer to the house but uh, there we go, there's my unscientific uh, test. And there we go, there's my review of the Motive RC RS8B receiver. It looks quite good. I'm going to put it into a fixed wing aeroplane and then test it, give it a good run for its money flying in my line of sight field. But that test, the outside test I did seem to be good. It's got a very good manual. The manual that comes with it is well written and really does explain everything nicely to you so that you can um, you set up the receiver. It also, they state that it weighs 6.8 grams. When I weighed it, it came up to 6 grams, but maybe my scales are not accurate enough. Um, at the present time, I would say yes, I would buy one because they are $23 at the moment, uh, which would be a good price for a telemetry receiver. Uh, compared to the free sky ones so if you want telemetry coming back from your fixed wing yeah i would give this a go as i say i'm going to do a v video in the future where i do a follow-up to it once i've actually put it into an airplane and i've actually flown it
Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now.